Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're, and we're just going to do a tuning video very quickly and kind of kind of talk about just taking things from standard tuning and then moving it around to, to other tunings just in case you need to do that for some of the lessons um, that you're watching. And we're going to start out with just standard tuning. So I'm just kind of playing my, my open E string and kind of checking that the, the tuner. And what you may want to do is kind of play your E string too. And if it sounds low to you, then you tighten the tuner. So you kind of tighten it up right to tighten it up to loosen. And then if it sounds slightly higher than mine, then you would loosen up the string to kind of match that E note. So that, that should be like an E in standard tuning um, on that first string or the skinniest string. And then if we go to the next string down, then that's your open B string. So you may want to kind of play around with that. And if, if you're a little bit high, you want to loosen up the tuner just a little bit, and you can try and kind of match my so this could be my my string. So this could be a cool little little ear training exercise for you. So if you're too high, you want want to lower it down or loosen up the string. If you're too low, then you want to kind of tighten up the string. So that's my B, and it can be a cool idea to sing it to B. All right, then if we go to the third string, then that's your G string on the guitar. Um, so so. There's your G to try and tune to G, G. So if you're a little bit high, you want to loosen it up, and if you're a little bit low, you want to tighten it up a little bit. G, G. So we kind of try and match that pitch with, with your third string, and then on your fourth string, then now we're trying to match a D note. So that's my D, D. And match the, the, the pitch. So if you're a little bit low to me, you want to tighten it up. If you're a little bit high, you want to loosen it up. So D, so that's my fourth string. And the next string down is our A string. So that's your open A. And if you're a little bit low, you want to want to tighten it up. A little bit high, you want to loosen it up. A, A. Never thought of taking your open strings as a vocal exercise before. A, so that's my fifth string. And then if we go to the next string, then that's your low E string. So E, 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 E. So I'm going to try and match that to, to my sixth string of the low E string. Now, so that's basically standard tuning is that E, B, G, D, A, E. Now there are also some lessons though that, that you'll kind of find that talk about drop D tuning and this mainly to pertain to your, to your D major chord or sometimes a D minor chord. Sometimes it's just a cool power chord riff. But if you're interested in that, what you would do is take your low E string to get to drop D tuning and you try and match it and pitch in a way or kind of to get to somewhere over the rainbow to the D string. So just to go over drop D tuning, you take your low E string and I'm loosening it up. favorite tunings actually is, is, is a drop double D where you take your high E string from where we are right now and then you would lower that down to a D note. So now my E string I've loosened up until I get to a D note. So now my D string, my low D string, or my E string, what was the E string, and the D string and the high E string are all tuned to a D note. So just in case you have some tunings that you're Drop double D, that could be a cool tuning to kind of play around with too. And a lot of times after you kind of tune it, you may want to retune it, make sure it's going to be stable. A lot of people talk about going low and coming back up high, and that, that can be a cool way to kind of work it too. So just in case you want Now some other tunes are kind of called for something called dadgad tuning, which is where you tune it D, A, D, G, A, D. 
So from to get to dad gad tuning from where we are, we would take the B string and then lower it down a whole step to an A note. So just in case you're kind of interested in, in dad gad, that can be a cool tuning to kind of play around with. So kind of taking the B string to an A note. lessons too that you'll find are in what are called drop tuning or where you retune everything down a half step. So to get to that, that from where we are actually I'm going to go back to standard tuning. So I'm retuning my E to an E note <laughs> and my high E to an E note. standard tuning and actually one really quick way to, to kind of check and make sure you're in standard tuning and uh, you've probably seen this before you could take the low E string on the fifth fret and kind of make sure that that's matched with your open A and then you take fifth fret on the A string and match it up with your open D <laughs> and then match up fifth fret on the D string with your open G and then the fourth fret on the G string is a B note to tune your B string and then fifth fret on the B string is kind of the E note to kind of match your high E string if you just want to make sure that you're in tune with yourself and you don't have a tuner, that's a good way to do it. It's kind of five on the, on the low E. It's assuming the low E is right, right? But, but you're kind of doing A notes to A notes, D note to D note, G note to G note, B note to B note, and then E note to E note. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm back in standard tuning. Now, if, if you're interested in drop tuning, though, and Stevie Ray Vaughan does this a good bit, Nirvana does this a good bit, Jimi Hendrix does this a good bit. A lot of people do this. Um, um, and I'll, sometimes it's for a voice consideration, like Guns N' Roses. I think Axel can hit higher, a half pitch higher with his voice if he's tuned down half step with everything else. So, so to get to there, you would tune the E string to an E flat note. So now I'm kind of tuning it down just a half step. And your tuner may say D sharp, which is cool. So now that's my E flat. E flat. And then from there, if we go to the B string, you'd be taking the B string down a half step to a B flat or an A sharp note. So now that's my B flat, B flat. And then you'd be taking your G down a half step to an F sharp or a G flat note. So there's my G flat. down a half step to a C sharp note or D flat note. So D flat, D flat, D flat. So you try and match that for the rest of the, you can drop tuning with me. And then you take that A string down a half step to an A flat note or a G sharp note. So A flat. Taking the low E string down a half step to a low E flat or D sharp. I don't know who made the tuner and what time of day it is, whether it's E flat or D sharp. But that's your low E flat, E flat. So all across, again, we're going to make sure that these strings haven't stretched out. There's my E flat. E flat. 
And then, and that can be a really good idea even if you're working with a tuner to double check them after you go all the way down because the guitar will, the strings will adjust the tension on the neck and sometimes it will, it will move and readjust some things for you, especially if you're loosening them up that much across the board. So there's my G flat and then D flat. <laughs> and then my e flat. So that's how you would get to drop tuning and you to play around with the studio recording to uh, Sweet Child of Mine is, is, is a good example. Um, so, so that would be kind of a cool thing to do. B flat, G flat, D flat, A flat, B e flat. So just in case you're interested in that. E flat, there's my high E string. High E flat, and then my second string B flat, B flat, B flat, and then G flat for the third string, and then D flat for the fourth string, and then my A flat for the fifth string, and then my E flat for the low E string. So just in case you need some reference pitches online, I think that that could be very cool. So that's the basics of how you could kind of get to some different tunings and make sure you're in tune, you know, with uh, for the lessons online. So good luck.